Hey everybody, this is Will. I'm super excited to show you my brand new ProPresenter 7 control cues for Ableton Live. Now, if you have ever used ProPresenter, uh, controlled it via Ableton, it's very likely you've seen a, a file that looks something like this. This is a ProPresenter cues file that I created, um, gosh, almost, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, whenever Renewed Vision released the first version of this. And I'm super excited today to release the brand new version of this, for ProPresenter 7. Now what makes this cues file so great is uh, it's gonna speed up the process of programming songs in Ableton Live to control ProPresenter 7, uh, and it's gonna make it so, so fast. What's great about doing this for ProPresenter 7 is the cues file has been completely updated to include the brand new commands, the brand new names, as well as uh, our brand new uh, clear message queue. Um, and it's gonna line up perfectly with uh, all the MIDI mapping in ProPresenter. So let me give you a quick tour of what the file looks like and then what it looks like over in ProPresenter. So here's what our file looks like. The first thing you're gonna notice, if you've ever downloaded a ProPresenter cues file, you're probably used to it stopping at 30. Right. I even right now have a file on the site that you can download completely for free. So if you're interested in doing this for free, uh, that's going to go up to 30. When I originally released these cues, created these cues years ago, I decided just to stop at 30. Uh, but I've created and released a full set of cues that go not just to 30, but go all the way to 127 for each of these. So uh, if you're tired of having to try to reuse the uh, slide cues or try to make them fit to get under 30, now you have from 30 all the way up to 127. Now we'll mention if you are a subscriber, you get this uh, cues file for free. If not, you can purchase it on the From Studio Stage website um, as well to get the full cues file. So if I give you a quick tour here, this is going to look really similar to the ProPresenter 6 cues file, except a, a couple big things. One, uh, most prominently, it now has this brand new clear messages queue. This is super helpful when you're uh, putting messages on the screen or stage display and want to clear those. You now have access to that queue. Uh, and if you set this up, I'll show you in just a moment, if you set this up the way Renewed Vision encourages you to, to use, I believe it's number mini note 28, if I remember correctly, this queue is programmed um, just for that. So it's going to work right out of the gate, which is awesome. So we have those cues, but then I've also gone ahead and relabeled all of these cues. So instead of uh, select video image bin, select video image queue, uh, these are all renamed to, to match the cues uh, perfectly. So let's head over to ProPresenter. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to open up Preferences in ProPresenter, um, go to Devices here, and go to MIDI Map. So when you can see we have this brand new Messages queue that I mentioned. And again, uh, if you go into ProPresenter, go to the auto fill section here, hit zero. Uh, this is going to auto fill all these numbers starting at zero, going zero to three, and then 28 because it's our new queue, and then four all the way to 27. Uh, Renewed Vision was really smart uh, to do this, and I think it's because they're great developers and they care about their customers. If you have uh, pre done files in ProPresenter 6, you want to move to ProPresenter 7, use the new queues file. You're not going to lose your work because that new queue that's added, that messages queue there, clear messages queue, is now number 28, which is great. So as long as your queues are set up this way, then all of those files, uh, those um, queues in the ProPresenter uh, Ableton MIDI queues file is, is going to line up and work great. And again, you can see all the names that are here match what's over in Ableton. So let me show you how easy it is to work with this. If you've never worked with this cues file before, you know, I've talked to people before that when they're programming um, cues in ProPresenter, they are making each individual cue by hand. This is going to save you hours and hours of work and effort, and you don't have to create it. I took the hours to create the file. Now you can use that work that I've done and save yourself hours and hours every single time you program a file. So what's great about this is you can go in and say, okay, let's uh, select playlist one. We're going to drop that in. And then let's choose song uh, five. All right, I'm going to drop that guy in. And then I can start laying in my slide cues, right? So I could take slide one. Uh, let's do slide two, drop that in. And I'm just arbitrarily placing these, obviously. But I could go through, and uh, this would allow me to place my slide cues exactly where I need them to be. And again, something I like to do is use my clear commands. Let's say, let's have it clear slides here. Let's have it clear background, maybe here. And I can just pre-program my song so that it's perfect. It's exactly the way I want it, and it's going to be exactly the same every single time which is why I love doing this. This is why I love opening an Ableton session and, and pre-programming my songs in ProPresenter so that, again, it happens 
uh, at exactly the right time every single time. And it's perfect. And I only have to do the work once. That's that's one of the things I love about this. So when you have this cues file, again, um, you can access it directly from your browser. You can add it over here to the browser in live. Uh, it's available for live 10 and uh, uh, versions that are higher 10, 10.1. Um, you can just drag all those cues in. And again, one of the beautiful things about this uh, these slide cues here is they go all the way up to slide 127. So no more uh, tricks to try to fit your songs in less than 30 cues. You can get access to all of those. So if uh, you want access to these cues, uh, if you want to download these for free, become a From Studio Stage subscriber. You can do that by heading to From Studio to Stage.com. Make it easy on yourself. I know I talk fast. Just click the link in the description uh, to get there and it's going to take you over there. Or if you're not interested in becoming a subscriber and getting these for free, um, then you can purchase them uh, standalone as well. And you can do that by heading to from studio to stage.com and heading to the download section of the site. Again, save yourself the effort. Just click the link in the description there. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these cues and I, I hope it helps make um, you using Pro Presenter and controlling it with Ableton Live uh, way simpler. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.